This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. What an exciting wildlife segment. You know, we've talked about how much there is to explore in Kansas. This brand new book from KU Press, Petroglyphs of the Kansas Smoky Hills by Rex Buchanan, Burt Griggs, and Josh Svati is a must have. And thank you, Dave Kendall, for bringing us a little information and something for of the presentation from the Lawrence Library on this magnificent volume. Good job, guys, good job. Just to sort of be clear about rules here, this book took all three of us. I did most of the text, Burke did the photography, Josh reviewed the text, helped with the logistics for landowner access, which will become part of the story that we tell in this process as well. All three of us had different motivations as we worked on this project, but I can say one of the things that motivated me was both, uh, both Josh and I grew up out in the middle of Kansas. I grew up in Rice County, right in the middle of the state. Josh grew up just north of there in Ellsworth County. I don't know about you, Josh, but as I grew up as a kid, I was really struck about the fact that when I took Kansas history courses, they almost always seemed to start in 1854. And occasionally, if you had a really enlightened history teacher, it might go all the way back to 1541 and Coronado, but it never seemed to spend more than about a paragraph or 15 minutes prior to that. And I personally found it frustrating that by the time I graduated from high school, I knew more about the Magna Carta than I did about the people that lived in the place that I was from. Josh and I started sort of on this project by taking people on field trips to look at these things out actually where we grew up. The reaction is always the same. People walk up, they look at them, and their first question is, what do these mean? What's, what's going on here? Now, by and large, there's not a great literature on petroglyphs, particularly not in Kansas. And one of the reasons is that you can't date these things. You can't tell how old they are, as opposed to other kinds of artifacts like, say, pottery that you can date. These things are very difficult to date. Now, I would guess that most of these are in the neighborhood of a couple hundred years old. A lot of that is based on the geology that we'll look at when we look at these sandstones that these things are on. So, one of the challenges is dating. Another challenge is tribal identification. And I, again, one of the first questions people always have is, what tribes, what nations created these things? And again, it's really difficult to know that with certainty but you can begin to make sort of educated guesses based on historical information, oral histories, and certain cultural motifs that again you see in, in some places. Most of the attention on these things focuses on two tribes, the uh, Pawnee, who uh, lived in south central uh, uh, Nebraska and north central Kansas, and the Wichita, who lived in this area at the time. Now, these are both mostly sedentary tribes. That is, these are not the kind of nomadic tribes that you think of out on the high plains and maybe associate with western Kansas. These are tribes that, that live in lodges and twice a year go out onto the plains to hunt and then come back uh, to where they have those lodges. Almost all of these things are on private property. And most of the landowners are not thrilled with the idea of letting strangers onto their property to look at these things. So we don't give exact locations in the book. So if you want a guidebook to Kansas petroglyphs, don't buy that book. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun.